February of 2015, DTSC informed Exide it would deny its permit request for its battery recycling facility. Exide will have to submit a closure plan for DTSC's approval, then begin the process of safely closing the facility, as well as continue to investigate contamination and clean up residential properties in the surrounding communities. DTSC, the South Coast Air Quality Management District, the LA County Department of Public Health, and the City of Vernon will be working together to ensure the public safety during the closure and ongoing cleanup work. DTSC has also announced it will establish an advisory group made up of community members. The group will work with local and state agencies to keep the community informed and involved throughout the closure and cleanup process. Exide is responsible for all cleanup costs. Late last year, DTSC ordered Exide to set aside $9 million to clean up contamination in the affected residential communities. $3 million has already been deposited into a trust fund. Two additional installments of $3 million will be paid before fall of this year. A 2015 amendment to the original 2014 order requires Exide to make additional payments totaling $5 million by March 2020 for additional residential cleanup. The cleanup of lead-contaminated yards in this Southern California community began over a year ago. To date, 59 properties have been cleaned up and more than 3,300 tons of contaminated soil has been removed from the home surrounding the now-closed battery recycling plant. The South Coast Air Quality Management District found that the residential communities of Boyle Heights and Maywood were located in areas most likely impacted by lead contamination. Lead can wreak havoc on children's developing nervous systems and cause birth complications in pregnant women. Throughout the cleanup, DTSC has been working with other local and state agencies to keep residents informed about what's happening in their community. In April of 2013, DTSC ordered Exide Technologies to suspend its operation because the battery recycler had failed to control the airborne emissions from its facility. Soon after, DTSC ordered Exide to perform soil sampling at and around the Vernon plant. Lead level testing for residents was provided by the LA County Department of Public Health. Sampling results revealed areas north and south of the battery recycler were contaminated with lead. 217 properties are in the affected areas. Cleanups have been prioritized by the amount of lead contamination found at each property. Salvador Chavez was one of the first residents to have his yard cleaned up. He says he feels better knowing the soil in his yard is free of contamination. I can feel better because I know my soil, my, the soil is not contaminated and it's good for the health. And the, okay. Not only my health, the health of everybody over here. The residents in neighborhoods like this are DTSC's priority. The department will continue to work hard to make sure contamination in the community is cleaned up and residents are safe from toxic harm.